If congressional Democrats and the IRS have their way, you can kiss your privacy goodbye and get ready for the beginnings of a police state. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. The White House and congressional Democratic leaders are pushing a chilling proposal that would destroy all vestiges of your financial privacy. It is a form of tyranny, pure and simple. If Congress approves, the IRS will track every bank account with inflows and outflows of $600 a year. In other words, just about every financial account in America. That's right. Every purchase you make, every deposit and withdrawal you do will come under IRS scrutiny. This is a gross attack on the Fourth Amendment, which protects us from unreasonable and warrantless searches. Democrats and people like Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen say this unprecedented invasion of privacy and trampling of the Constitution is necessary to catch tax cheats, most notably those nefarious billionaires. They not only want to give the IRS vast spying powers, but also provide it with the money to hire tens of thousands of new agents to comb through your records. The rationale of Yellen, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, and others is preposterous. The very well-to-do have teams of lawyers and accountants to guide them around the endless mazes of our utterly incomprehensible and corrupt federal income tax code. The real purpose of Yellen and her cohorts is to squeeze small businesses and middle and upper middle income individuals for more tax payments, knowing that these people don't have access to the expertise of the well-to-do who can summon that expertise to protect them. Therefore, these people will be more vulnerable to squeezes from IRS agents who know they are being judged by how much extra tax money they collect. Realizing that Americans are recoiling in horror as they learn of that $600 threshold, Democrats are hinting they might raise it to $10,000. Don't be fooled. This would be a meaningless concession. Most Americans get more than $10,000 a year in payments, whether in salary or benefits. And the Democrats and the IRS won't be stopping with checking accounts. The Treasury Department earlier this year made clear they want to go via regulation after every financial account, such as PayPal and credit and debit cards and all cryptocurrency accounts. When you think about it, this ghastly attack on our liberties is not just about money. It is making the IRS an even more powerful and intimidating political weapon. We've seen too many instances in the past of the IRS being used to attack opponents of particular presidents. Here, if this assault is not stopped, everyone will be a potential target. We can't wait for court cases to rule on this. This ghastly initiative must not become law in the first place. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. Oh.